Hey, hey, Cancer, Intuitive Soul Coach here with your March 2023 love reading. Welcome back to my channel if you are returning and welcome if you are new. Today we'll dive into the collective energy of Cancer and take a look at all things related to love. Whether you are currently single, partnered up, maybe you're going through a challenging situation with someone close to your heart, we'll dive into it all. Just a friendly reminder, Cancer, these are general readings. Please take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If you are interested in a personal reading or entering into the free monthly reading giveaway, you can find both of those links in the description box below. All right, so right away here, before we dive into the key themes, they're showing me keys, keys. So I feel that there could be an energy here of unlocking some sort of either hidden potential within you. You may find the keys to an important discovery or something that's been hidden away from you. I feel like this is the month, Cancer, that you are going to find some solutions, find some solutions that have been a little bit challenging or hidden because they're showing me the padlock and there is a padlock in this deck as well but they're showing me that there was an opportunity that was either set aside something may have been painful for you to go through in the past some of you it could have been uh, pregnancy it could have been the loss of uh, a child here you may have had issues with fertility some of you this can certainly be a miscarriage or something of that nature and if so I'm sending you a lot of hugs and love that can certainly be something very difficult that you go through when you are trying to start a family for others of you, you've been really wanting to manifest love of all shapes, sizes, and forms, right? Love is a beautiful energy, but it can show up in many different forms through animals, uh, emotional support pets. It can be family members. It can be romantic love. It can be your children. So these love readings aren't just specified towards romantic relationships so please take it as it resonates for you now cancer in the past we have the cardinal showing up this is about messages from spirit i feel like some of you may have actually seen a cardinal eating from uh you know eating from a feeder or you may have seen a cardinal in a tree i'm getting that some of you may actually have a cardinal or two that you see on maybe even a regular reg regular basis, whether it's uh, you know in your backyard or whether this is a statue that you have. They're showing me like a, a little cardinal statue. But most importantly, this is about divine intervention, something you've been really wanting for a long time, I feel is, is going to happen here in the near future because your near future card is creativity and fertility. It is the water jug. So if you've been looking for love or if you've been wanting to manifest, March looks like the perfect month to put yourself out there. Exciting new situations, situations coming into your environment that are going to spice things up a little bit because you do have the spices card here. Whenever this shows up, this is about excitement. It's about enthusiasm. Uh, sometimes this can be, uh, for me, dancing as well, putting yourself out there and maybe dancing and feeling in flow with what's going on. Even if you're dancing outside by yourself or dancing in the kitchen, as you make dinner. This is about letting yourself go with the flow of what you're feeling within the body. And you may feel like you want to move your hands, you want to move your fingers, you want to move your body in ways that you have, <clears throat> excuse me, that you haven't moved for quite some time. Now, also, if you are in a relationship and this is a relationship that you've been in for quite some time, this can be the month for you to add a little bit of pizzazz, uh, add a little bit of spice. Maybe take a trip with your partner. Uh, perhaps have a conversation that uh, inspires you both to, to, to start something new together. Take a class, take a cooking class, a workshop, uh, watch uh, a show that can help you bond together. It can be something you do with each other because sometimes when you're in that relationship for quite some time, you can veer off and start to do your own separate things. I am getting here, it's important to keep that spice alive if, if that's important for you, Cancer. And there's just a coming together energy. And some of you may be even taking a little bit of a vacation uh, without the children if you have children, or you may even be... Um, just taking a little bit of time for the both of you, date night even, or coming together in that sense. Now, if this is 
a family situation where you've been struggling with reaching out to maybe a sister, a child, a mother, a parent, they are giving me feminine energy, more empress. I feel like this could be a month where you either hear from maybe a mother and if she's crossed over, you may hear from her in spirit. You may get messages through specifically cardinals. But I am feeling as well, if you're wanting to start a family uh, in the near future, or if you want to heal a family dynamic, this is the perfect time to do so. Even if you are single and you have some uh, wounding, inner childhood wounding, this is something that's actually going to bring about uh, a big mending or a sense of healing that's going to allow you to invite in these new energies, these new exciting situations as well. Some of you may actually get a pet in the month of March if you've been contemplating getting a bird or getting a cat or I mean it could be a, a tortoise. So whatever it is that you want, Cancer, I feel like there is an energy here of creativity, doing things in a new way than you've maybe done in the past because you want a different result than something that you've had in the past. So I feel like you're switching things up. March may be a game changer month for you, Cancer. So let's get into your Celtic cross and take a look at the overall heart of the matter. And we have some cards already showing up here for you. So I'm just going to actually pull all these cards here before we dive in. Uh, they are giving me a strong J. So there could be uh, a J in your energy. Someone may meet. You may meet someone with the name of Jay, or this could be a family member as well. Let's get the rest of the cards here for you. Someone, uh, someone may have initials of J or uh, JC as well is what I'm getting. JC, whether that is an actual name or it is an initial. Let's take a look and see what we have here for Cancer. So the heart of the matter for you is the Ten of Pentacles. Beautiful energy here. This is about healing family dynamics. This is all about longevity here. When the Ten of Pentacles show up, shows up, it's about family ties, happily ever after, right? Healing family drama, heading towards a stability within the family dynamic here. It can be about taking a vacation, treating yourself. It could even be moving in together because they were showing me the keys in the very beginning again. So I feel like you're unlocking a situation that has been difficult to navigate through. And if it's been a little bit rocky between you and a family member, I feel like there's it's almost a completion type of energy, a healing. If you've been going through a karmic cycle or a very, very big soul lesson in your life, I feel like you're seeing the silver lining for that situation, Cancer. Someone may be graduating. There could be a reunion, news of a birth as well, uh, even though... Okay, and you see the dog here as well. Um, so I feel like you may even be flying someplace in the month of March and spending time with family. Okay, Beautiful energy showing up right away here for you. Now the challenge, however, could be, um, it could be gossip or it could be, you know, let's say you go see a family member, you fly to see someone or you get together with them. <clears throat> Excuse me. There could be difficult information or difficult news that you don't always love to hear from this person whether they are a regular Debbie Downer or maybe they don't see things from a specific side of view, there's always gonna be that one family member or many that just don't agree with your lifestyle or with the way you do things, Cancer, and that's okay. And I feel like that's what you may be healing uh, in this, this new energy because in the past, you may have let something really get the best of you. Maybe your, your mother or a, a sibling always said, well, you live this way and I don't agree with it. Or uh, they may criticize or judge maybe uh, the way you parent. Uh, or it could be, you know, in-laws as well. Someone may have difficulty with an in-law I'm getting, whether it's a mother-in-law or a family member uh, that is part of the family through not through blood may come in and tend to criticize or tend to judge or I mean it could even be a child as well page of swords there may be some issues or difficulties around a child here and that may at times put a little bit of a strain on a relationship or on the family dynamics but I do feel here cancer in the month of 
March, you're finding solutions to those challenges because you have the light bulb here. And the light bulb is boom, aha moment, moments of clarity, a moment of truth where instead of the page of swords, instead of gossiping or challenging news or maybe spying, because I'm getting here, I'm, I'm getting that some of you may have found some sort of news on your, it could, it could be from someone or through someone, or maybe there was some gossip or talk behind the back. So for example, uh, you may have found out that, you know, your child's, um, your adult child's parents had all went on vacation and you didn't know about it or they left you out and you just felt a little bit uh, singled out. But I feel like there's a new exciting situation coming in that's going to help you release some sort of disappointment here. I'm going to pull one card on this and see what that is for you with what the page of swords is. I feel like it's not a personal attack. It's just hurt your feelings because you may have felt left out or you may have felt like someone wasn't understanding or seeing you for who you are. King of Swords, <clears throat> excuse me. Yeah, someone wasn't thinking about your emotions in a situation and it, they may have said something that may have hurt you, but you see there's a bird's eye view that he has on a situation here. So I feel like there may have been uh, someone who was thinking very narrow-mindedly within the family dynamic and they weren't thinking how their actions or their words or something they may have put out um, on their media or social media platform may have hurt you but i feel like you're finding a solution to that here okay it could have also been news around uh, some sort of fertility. It could be a doctor energy as well, uh, where you are finally finding a solution is what I'm hearing. Let's see what's below you, Cancer. The Hierophant. Yeah, this is about divine guidance, right? This is about you learning some very valuable lessons here on earth. When you have the Hierophant, you may be that type of person who wants to be in a high level commitment or you want to commit to someone, something or an energy that's going to bring in reciprocity, but also bring in healing. Okay. Bring in healing. So I do feel that a lot of you are seeing the relationships in your life for what they are, a growth opportunity, an uh, opportunity to open up your heart, an opportunity for forgiveness, an opportunity for second chances. So you're seeing these things from a new perspective. And when the Hierophant comes in, this is about you learning new things, but questioning your traditions, questioning your beliefs. Do they align with what it is that you feel or are they here based on maybe the way you grew up? Because there could be some sort of conditions that you have since childhood. I mean, this could be your own inner child. It could be the way that you see in love between your own parents, right? It could be something that's happened many, many moons ago that are that's still impacting your heart, some sort of hurt, some sort of pain or it could have been someone may have said something because again this could be gossip or it could be words harsh words some of you may have had a king of swords type of father who uh, wasn't emotionally available okay they may have numbed their pain they may have been a workaholic they may have been an alcoholic they may have been absent as well but i feel like you are learning new ways of doing things and you're healing from situations that have been difficult and painful What's going on in the past for Cancer? Queen of Cups. This is your energy here. Very beautiful. This is about you emotionally evolving. You're maturing, Cancer. Now, I don't care if you are, you know, 25, if you're 65 or 95. We always are evolving. Well, hopefully, hopefully we're always evolving. I feel like we are. But this is about you maturing, right? And there may have been a lesson sometimes even at 75 years old that we can still have with an energy of uh, someone close to our hearts, that we can still learn how to do things differently because we mature each and every time. And that's what's happening here for you, Cancer. Queen of Cups, you give great advice, you give great hugs, great support, you're extremely intuitive, but you're also extremely emotional. And sometimes uh, we, Cancers take things personally, very, very deep, very personally. So there could have been a word or some situation that happened where uh, someone didn't mean to come across as harshly, right? Or they didn't mean to come across as difficult or unloving, but you may have felt unlovable. Okay, let's take a look at what you're manifesting. What's above you? 
Oh, King of Swords again. So the King of Swords, it doesn't have to be father, but it can certainly be uh, opening up to maybe someone or this could be okay partnership i feel like there was someone in the past who emotionally or even physically may have been a, may have been distant because this king of swords he can be not in touch with his emotions he gets his answers from his head not his heart um king of swords is very clever right he's very experienced he's very wise however he doesn't let his emotions overrule him and you being a cancer you may need a little bit more so if you are single you may feel like you're attracting these people that are heartless right but it's because you have such a big heart cancer now if you're in a relationship this could be needing to feel a little bit more love a little bit more support from your partner and you're wanting Wanting to manifest clarity on how to overcome some sort of challenge or situation or setback that you've had okay and if you are still healing from a situation where someone hurt you I feel like there's an opportunity for mending there's an opportunity for a new exciting situation to come in now, for those of you that are looking for love, you could certainly be manifesting in a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius. So there could be an air sign coming in here for you. And just know that this could be their personality, right? Sometimes air signs, I mean, I'm a Libra, I get it. Sometimes they can come off as a little bit aloof or even at times a little bit uh, where they are too logical. They don't always lead with the heart center, but it doesn't mean that they don't have emotions or they can't be empathic. It just means that they're working on bringing that balance of the body, the heart, and the head, okay? The body, mind, soul, heart, and head connection here. But this person, when, when you really get into his energy, he'll be loyal and faithful and honest, and he's all about truth, right? So King of Swords, I feel like you're manifesting someone who can bring those traits to the table. Now, let's see what's coming in here for you in the near future. The Chariot, this is you. Stepping into that power and taking off. There's movement here. This is an exciting situation here coming in for you, Cancer. So whatever this chariot is, I mean, this could be your chariot awaits. This king of uh, king of swords showing up here. And actually, that, that air element with the water element can bring about a beautiful flow of energy if the both of you allow it, where uh, there could be some lessons even. Some, it could be karmic lessons. It could be soul lessons. But it can bring about us learning more compassion. But it can also be forgiveness. It can be healing. But it can bring a very exciting combination to the mix here. And I do feel with this chariot energy, this is about forward movement after a time of feeling a little bit stuck. This is also the card of travel. Some of you may be taking a road trip. You may be visiting family. Uh, I'm getting that it's important for you to connect, spend time together. And some of you may actually spend more time, if you're in a relationship, you may spend more time with your partner this month. And that may be a very good thing. Let's see what you're feeling. This is all about you, Cancer. Queen of Swords, okay, wow. Queen of Swords here. So you you are mature, right? You are emotionally mature. You have what it takes, but we have a partnership here. We have some sort of a match, right? We have a match. She's looking at him. He's looking at her. And again, it doesn't matter if you're female or male or two males or two females. It doesn't matter. But this king and queen, sometimes they can be one of the most difficult matches because sometimes... What happens is this, right? We reverse here and she looks in one direction and he looks in the other because they don't know how to properly communicate. But there's an exciting new situation here where they're actually presenting themselves in this way. So this is saying here, you have the go. You have the go ahead to spice things up. Sometimes the both of you can be very, very stubborn, right? Sometimes the both of you can let that logical analytical mind overrule the emotions when really there is is a love connection here underneath it all there's this family dynamic of love wanting to be together connection or if you're single wanting to manifest this type of partnership where you can come together with positive effective and healthy communication but there's clarity there's no games right Nobody wants games in a relationship. And I feel like you are, you're looking for new solutions. You're looking for creative solutions to have this new beginning. Now, what's going on in your circumstances around you? You have a lot of people. 
Remember what I said in the beginning, there could be a family member, it could be an in-law, it could be a child, it could be step families. I do feel for you that there could be someone mothering, uh, someone who at times can be a helicopter, right? Smothering, smothering one's relationship. It could be an ex of someone as well, or it could be a sister-in-law, whoever this is here. I'm just getting that it's important for them to uh, be in their own energy and it's important to let you two, if there's uh, the two of you here, kind of do your thing and manifest. Now, if you're looking for love and you're single, this could be a friend setting the two of you up or you may meet someone through uh, a third party connection here. So I, I really, I, I'm not... I'm not feeling negative or positive with this Queen of Pentacles, um, but I'm just getting here that uh, she has her eyes closed and it's important for her to stay aware with her surroundings and kind of stay in her own lane is what I feel here. Stay in her own lane. I'm just going to pull a card on this Queen of Pentacles because I don't feel like this is you. Again, I feel like this is an outsider, uh, but this outsider may at times interfere. Yeah, she may put a little bit of a... Uh, a stuck energy into the relationship. I mean, it could certainly be someone's uh, ex or if someone has children with this person, they may come in and put a damper on things because you're getting the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Now, the Knight of Pentacles can at times be stuck in a rut. Also, it could be uh, being too cautious about a situation. And I'm just getting that someone may be saying to you, um, Make sure you don't do this or do it that way. It's almost that helicopter, look over my shoulder type of energy. Uh, but I also sense that for those of you that are single, this friends could be someone that says it's time to take a risk. It's time to get yourself out of this rut. Instead of sitting home on, you know, Saturday night, let's go dancing or let's go have dinner. Let's go meet people. So I feel like I'm, I'm getting two different reads from this Queen of Pentacles. So please take that as it resonates for you. Now, what are your hopes and fears, Cancer? balance, right? You want to be able to balance your work life, your play life. You want to stay calm when things are going on around you. Multitask, right? The fear is what if I feel overwhelmed because of all this, this stickiness, right? It's almost like a cobweb I see here. It's almost a cobweb of everybody's lives intertwining with each other when you just need a little bit of that break, right? You want a little more peace in your life. Whether, you know, maybe there's no family dynamics. This could be work. This third party could be work. It could be, uh, you know, children where you just want to have a little bit of downtime because you've been doing everything on your own or it feels that way. So the hope here is that you're able to bring about a little bit of peace and balance into your march. And I feel like you will be able to as well. So let's take a look at the final outcome. Final outcome, the fool, a new beginning, taking that leap of faith, beautiful. So taking a leap of faith and doing something new because there's a new sense of creativity in the month of March for you. Uh, you're very fertile as well with new ideas, new inspiration. For some of you, if you are in childbearing age, uh, this could be a great time if you're looking for that. If not, you might want to uh, be safe because you have exciting situations coming in here and I feel like you're ready to take this leap. Uh, the fool here can be about spontaneity, right? Taking a last minute road trip, taking a last minute, uh, you know, buying a, booking the ticket here. She's holding a piece of amethyst and amethyst can really connect to your intuition. So I feel you're having an intuitive hit or an intuitive insight and you're saying, yes, I'm doing this. This is a brand new beginning for me. And you're feeling quite creative. You're feeling quite excited and you're receiving signs from spirit. So Cancer, this is a very beautiful read here for you. Let's take a look and get a message from the wisdom of the oracle. And I will read to you the relationship message from the guidebook. You have two cards coming out here for you. What do we have for cancer? <laughs> yes, literally it clarifies what we've been talking about. Poised, which is taking action, getting ready. So there's something exciting coming in here where it's going to allow you to take that leap of faith. And some of you, you're going to the sea, right? It's also card seven, which is that chariot. That is you. So I'm going to read to you the to the sea card and I'll read the relationship message for you. 
This is all about being in the flow. Remember what I said earlier about dancing and your body, you may start to move your hands more, you may start to wiggle your arms, or you just start to dance when you're cooking or moving your hips. Your body wants to be in that energy of flow. And this is about returning to source, recognizing how pieces fit together, a natural pattern of events. And it says, there are points in a relationship when you have to decide to go with the flow rather than dictate the course you share with another. Can you let go of the need to have things your way and allow the relationship itself, your combined goals and desires to steer the ship? Can you both transcend your personalities and allow the partnership to form its own identity, its own energy? Now is the time to relax and see where this mutual journey leads. Really beautiful here. Yes, this is about instead of trying to force a situation to happen, going more with the flow is going to bring about more fertility. It's going to be more exciting as well because you won't feel the pressure. And I feel like now is the time you're ready. So really beautiful energy here for you, Cancer. Now, last but not least, we're going to get a few messages from your spirit animals. And I just ask if you can, Cancer, please close your eyes for a moment. Take a deep breath in from that solar plexus chakra, the belly area. And I want you to imagine the first animal or animals that show up in your mind's eye. Now this could be an animal that flies high in the sky. It could be an animal that swims deep in the sea. It could be an animal that is wild, magical, mystical, or even domesticated. It could be an animal that's recently crossed your path in the great outdoors, or one that's visited through your dreams. There is no right or wrong answer. And if you need a moment, just pause the video and come back when you are ready. And for those of you that would like to be entered into the free monthly reading giveaway where I draw one lucky winner around the first of each month, all you have to do is drop your animals in the comment box below. And I personally will enter you into that free reading giveaway. So please make sure you've hit that subscribe and bell button so you don't miss that notification. All right, I'm loving this for you, Cancer. Not only do you have the Cardinal, but you have the Canary. Spirit, it says, sing your own song, Canary Spirit, card 12, which is the hanged man as well. So it's a brand new perspective, a brand new paradigm shift, a brand new energy that you're bringing to the table in March. Next, you have Nightingale Spirit, another bird energy. So some of you, um, I'm getting a lot of tweet tweeting. So March can be a very beautiful, fresh springtime energy if you live in a location where it's spring. Uh, but I'm also getting, pay attention to the the calls, the, the whether it's a tweet, whether it's, you know, a whipperill, uh, whatever it is that you hear, maybe coming from a bird, that could be a sign of a new beginning coming in for you in the month of March. Nightingale Spirit says, love is all around. Now, some of you may be 41 years old. Uh, you may have a birthday on on the 6th, the 12th, or even the 24th, but I am getting here that you're going to feel the love. You're going to be in that flow of love regardless of relationship status. You have electric eel spirit. It says, bring your ideas to life. You have the water jug here. The eel is in water. This is about creativity and fertility. So use the law of attraction to manifest what it is that you want when it comes to matters of the heart. Bring those ideas to life. March is a wonderful month for manifestation and for you to take a jump, take a leap, a new beginning showing up. Last but not least, we have card six, Beaver. Lay a solid foundation. Now, the six in tarot is the lover's card as well. So I feel like you are laying a solid foundation to have and attract the type of love into your life that you truly desire. So this is a really very powerful month for you, Cancer. There's a lot of exciting energy coming in, especially with the spices here as well. Now, they're also showing me berries. 
Now, some of you may actually see some birds near the berries or they, there's some sort of tree that has berries and you may see a cardinal or you may see a, a bird there as well. I feel like there that is another sign of a new beginning and exciting situations coming in. I hope that resonates with you, Cancers. If so, please feel free to hit that thumbs up button. Feel free to share, like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for tuning in, beautifuls. Lots of love.